Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in Sunbridge in Westland Park in St. Cloud, going to show you another terrific house by Ashton Woods this time. And we are in the Brigham, which is, depending on options, 1,963 square feet or 3,246 square feet. You can also have a three or four bedroom, a two bath or a four and a half bath. It's a one story house and you can either have a two or three car garage. Now there's eight elevations with this plan that you can choose from, ranging from 540-990 at time of video, all the way to 551-990 again at time of video, and that is the range of the elevations. The in-law suite above the garage, uh, that option approximately is 140,000, give or take, at the time of video also, but I have to mention it, um, forward first because it is one of the biggest options you can choose for this type of home. Again, the, uh, the rest of the community, there's six models, four elevation choices each. Um, we're 10 minutes from Publix, 10 minutes from Lake Nona, uh, various banks, uh, CF Coffee, uh, we have pizzerias, and much more very near the area, Eagle Creek and the golfing course community as well it, within that 10 minute range. And we also have lots of uh, amenities in this community. This is a 27,000 acre community and more. And we're gonna explain that more as we go along with the video. But right now, if you could hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below, it truly does help our channel. And let's go check out right, this guys, house. Here we are in Sunbridge in Westland Park. And I just wanna show you the Brigham model right here. Here it is. And guys, as you walk up to the home, I have to point out, the first thing is these three beautiful windows. Look how much window real estate you have. When we go to the office area, you're gonna see that these are such a great uh, accent to the home. As we pull up here, you have the exterior foyer of the home. As you can see, it's beautiful. Then we have the uh, three slots glass on the modern door here, beautiful door with the combo lock here, very nice. As we enter the home, it opens up to a informal dining room, a very big informal dining room where we have two windows here and then two bay windows on the side. Pam, hit me with the size of this room. 20 by 15. 20 by 15, you could entertain many guests here. Think about Thanksgiving, holidays, Easter, all that in this room and everybody will be accommodated for. Now across from this room, we have the office space. They're using it as an office space, but it is a bedroom, right? We have Michael the rep who's working away right here. And you have your closet space with the sliding doors right here as well. But if you go past Michael, you can see the three windows that I was talking about. Love those windows. Look, they go all the way almost down to the floor. Very nice, okay. very nice. Moving along, as we proceed into the hallway, we have an intersection here where we have the rest of the home, another room, and a bathroom. Pam, hit them with the bathroom. We have the vanity set. We have the tub with the tile all the way up, right? Beautiful window, uh, mirror, and lighting. And then we have another bedroom here. And it's designed as another office, but you can see we have a window here, lots of space. And then if you want, Pam, open up that closet for them. Love the door swinging version of the closet. Very nice. And guys, here we go. We start off into the rest of the home into our beautiful kitchen. Now, let's start with the kitchen island. Pam, hit us with the size of this kitchen island. Eight feet by five feet. Eight feet by five feet with this beautiful quartz on it. We have, of course, my favorite, the gooseneck. We have the uh, ceramic That's a fancy feelings. gooseneck. Yeah, wow. it's a fancy one, yeah, it has a spring. <laughs> and then we have the uh, ceramic feeling uh, deep ditch sink. We are, um, now the appliances are not in, but you can imagine, but this is a gourmet style kitchen. Now standard would be that you would have the oven here, microwave on top. It would still vent out as you can see from the top, but in the gourmet option, which is 
around about $12,000 upgrade. We have the vent that leads it out. We would have a flat top electrical top here. And then we would have our fridge and then our built-in, which would have the oven and microwave stacked on top of each other here, wrapped around these beautiful built-in cabinets. We have our pantry here, as you can see. Very nice. Nice walk-in. Yep. And standard is our 42-inch cabinets. Now, these are slightly upgraded because they have the lights on the bottom and they are capped off with that beautiful uh, crown molding on the top. But this is a beautiful standard kitchen, as you can tell. Love the mixed colors, how they designed that here. We got the white and the blue, but we also got our dishwasher right here. You missed it again, I didn't missed you? it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then we move on from this area into our living room area. And as you can see, we have the tray ceiling here on the top, right? We have now upgraded speakers. If you wanted to add that for surround sound for additional sounds when you watch your movies, you can do that. Um, there's options to do that. Also, the four lights on the corners are options if you wanted to highlight this room uh, with lighting as well. Let me jump up in front of you because we are gonna go into what is typically the laundry room space. Now our laundry room space here, this is built out as a, you know, as a bathroom for commercial use because we need handicap accessible when you're showing a model, but you have the option to make this a laundry room or split it in half, laundry room and a powder room as well. So moving along, and we didn't even get to talk about the floor. Look at the beautiful floor that is upgraded here. This is very nice. So I would say this is MDF, right? Like um, tile, know, wood tile look. Yeah, I think it's tile. Yeah. Pam touched it. Yeah, I think it's tile. <laughs> it's tile, all right, cool. So as we head this way into the corner, now this is typically your master. You have this as, Typically the master bedroom space, again, they put office furniture in here, but you can see you have three windows on each side, right? You have plenty of space. You have the tray ceiling, the fans, the four high hots just for more additional lighting. And then, go ahead, Pam. It's about 15, 15. 15 by 15 is the size of this room. Now, Pam is gonna roll in and show you the master bath suite. Go ahead, Pam. But we have a closet right here. And I do love the tile that they put down. I'm getting attacked by a door. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. The walk-in shower, very beautiful with the herringbone tile. The two colors, white and gray, very nice. Love that. And then you have the master closet bath as well. The dual vanities, of course, you just saw. And then our walk-in closet. Love it. And I love the window in between the two vanity mirrors. But as you pan passes here, this is your commode here. And then we will move on. And before we head out, we have another closet space here for storage. Sweater closet. Sweater closet, you know, makes sense for Florida. Or maybe stick your lawnmower in there. Okay. <laughs> here we have- They have no grass here. More closet space, but this is where your water heater is at, of course. Yeah, and then door? your AC closet. It's like there's another door in here. Yeah, I believe that's the AC closet. Oh yeah. So this would quote unquote be your utility closet. And then let's step out. Here we are to the small patio space that you have here. Now, of course, this is a new developed area, so we're gonna see lots of construction. But imagine having the sitting area here, right in between now what could be your garage and mother-in-law suite upstairs. But this is very nice. You can put the barbecue right here, start grilling, very nice.
Can we and talk about what they're doing? Yes, yeah, so here we're not going to have grass or anything except in between the com uh, common areas because it's going to be very zero back to nature style. So we have hay. This is like a hay type material that would be in between all the homes. It won't be very much like grass or anything. Even the plant and the landscaping in this community is chosen for you just because it it's going to be very zero carbon footprint for the area and they want it to stay within its natural state. Now we're going to go upstairs, right? Let's show the stairs to go up, right? And before you, sorry, Pam, anyway, before you head up, this is the garage here. So I'll let Pam show you that. They call this a two and a half garage. Yes. A two and a half garage. And we, they also offer uh, Tesla tiles up to 10 kilowatts. All right, and that's, you know, you'll learn more as you come in for that because it's very vague on the specs for that stuff. Oh, this is the water heater for this unit. Yeah. And let's head upstairs. Here we are guys, so um, as you come to the mother-in-law space or the suite on top of the garage, what I want to point out is above the stairway, we have these four windows, which is great because you get natural lighting as you come up the stairs, it's not dark, love that. And then it flows right into the living room space, right, or how we like to say in Spanish, the sala, right? And Pam, hit me with the size of this space here. From the window there mm -hmm. to the wall behind me is 20 feet, and from left to right, it's about 14 feet. Right, and then added to that is sort of like a kitchen, kitchenette area, where we have our fridge. Of course, we're gonna get our, our oven here with our cooktop, and then our microwave up top, which is vented, because they're still, this is brand new model, so they're still connecting stuff, that vents out of the home as well as your main kitchen does, right? We would have our dishwasher here where this beautiful hole is. And, and then we have a stainless steel, steel uh, deep dish um, under mount sink here. Yeah, Pam? And they're carrying through like the big kitchen, the two different color. Yes, cabinets. love that. Love, you caught it this time. I did. <laughs> so we got the white and the blue here, right? Of course, the window for natural lighting as Pam was telling, but we also have our AC closet here, right, was very nice. And where's we our have, pantry? Huh? Where's the pantry? There is no pantry. We have the cabinets. That's why it's like a kitchenette area. Hmm. So then we move on. And then we have two junctions here. We have the main bedroom and then we have the main bathroom. But in between, we have. Oh, you can use this as a pantry. Yeah, okay. or linen closet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You could do that. That's a good idea. Now, Pam's going to tell you about this bathroom. I love the tile on the floor. Very nice. I love the hexagon tile. That's my style. But we have the tile all the way up in the uh, bed, uh, bathtub area. We have the uh, pantry. I mean, I'm sorry. The, uh, the sink and the lighting and the mirror there. That's great. And then we head into the main bedroom area very nice window for natural lighting i love the double doors like this but that's a walk-in closet yeah that's definitely walk-in yeah so we have good space in that in that closet as well love that and the carpet is that nice plush carpet very nice so that is the home guys stay with me i got a couple more words for you and i'm gonna get to you right now all right guys, so that concludes our tour of this home. Again, do not think that I'm too busy to help you. I am always available. My team is always, always available. Give us a call. The number is down in the description area below. We would love to help you. And of course, hit that subscribe and alert buttons down below because it does help our channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.